On first glance, this may look like a traditional classroom with one teacher in charge, but on closer inspection, it appears that there are two teachers leading instruction. Well, that's because there are. This is Herndon Middle School, and this class is an example of co-teaching. Co-teaching is a model of instructional delivery in which there are two certified teachers in a classroom which contain students of varying levels of need and ability. The great thing about Lisa and Jennifer is when you walk into their classroom, there's no clear delineation between this is the general ed teacher in the classroom, this is the special ed teacher in the classroom. There are two teachers in that classroom and they both have shared responsibility for every student. We really are making strides at Herndon to moving away from that mine and theirs perception of students and who belongs to who. If they're a Herndon Middle School student, they belong to every teacher in this building. And Lisa and Jennifer exemplify that. Herndon has more than 20 co-teaching teams, which usually pair a content area general educator with a special education teacher. These teams allow teachers to share expertise and actively engage, challenge, and motivate students. Most of my teaching career has been in a traditional model where I was the teacher for the entire classroom. And what I love about team teaching is through all phases, we're talking about individual students and what their needs are, and I love working with a special education teacher who has the background um, for ways to help students that are struggling. So we plan there and then in the classroom with flexible grouping, with, with students that need different things at the same time, we're able to do that together in the classroom. So I feel much more effective through the entire process. And I'm a first year teacher and it's made the transition really easy. And um, I love how I get the English expertise from Ms. Merrick and then I can kind of bring my special ed learning strategies expertise to that as well. So it's just, it's very helpful um, because I also co-teach with another teacher and I share a room with another teacher. I also get information from them or lesson plan ideas from them and I can bring them to her and vice versa. So we're kind of like cross-pollinating, which is really great. <laughs> as part of FCPS's commitment to closing the achievement gap, Herndon is one of 30 schools designated as priority schools by the school system. Herndon Middle gets additional support in order to meet student achievement benchmarks. The staff at Herndon believes that co-teaching is an integral part of student success. I absolutely think this will help close the achievement gap because we are able to focus more on individual student needs and with with more eyes and more ideas looking at what students need and then being able to work with them, it, it helps tremendously. And I, and I think the students really like it as well because they have two different approaches. They, they, um, they see us cooperating and I think that lends to a feeling that we're all in this together. We're all trying to help everyone achieve the most that they can. I definitely think um, using co-teaching helps close the achievement gap because we have two minds thinking of lessons, two minds thinking about how we can teach the students in the most effective manner. It decreases wait time, transition time, and really allows us as teachers to get to the students and see if there's any misconceptions at all before they start practicing. Do you guys see how we brought up a question? Wondering what does concussion mean or who's talking, what are they, what's going to happen? I think that co-teaching, effective co-teaching can be the tool that closes the achievement gap that has in the past existed between students because of racial lines or socioeconomic status or disability labels. And the reason I think that is because when you have two teachers who are working together to, to truly build and deliver dynamic instruction that you can meet those individual needs of every student in the, in the classroom. And I also think that by mixing students, by not creating 21st century segregation by here, here are our achieving kids, here are our non-achieving kids, and separating them, that those students can then learn together and build on each other's strengths. That's a good question.